If we don't get enough sleep at night, many try catching up during the day. As we age, those sleeping problems can become worse. I'm just going to put some electrodes um, to your scalp and to your face, and okay. this will determine your sleep stages to see if you're getting a good night's sleep or not. Ruth Lim knows she was diagnosed with sleep apnea at the University of California San Francisco Sleep Disorder Center. Okay. Sleep apnea is a breathing disorder where the throat collapses or constricts during sleep. Breathing can stop for a period of 10 to 30 seconds or more. It very much uh, disturbs the sleep as well as exposes uh, the individual to low oxygen levels on a, a frequent basis. It happens many, many times throughout the night. I was shocked to find out that when I was asleep, my oxygen saturation was down to 68%. Normal is much higher, in the 90% range or above. We were interested in finding out whether older women with sleep apnea have a higher risk of developing cognitive problems over time. Dr. Katie Stone from California Pacific Medical Center and co-authors studied almost 300 women whose average age was 82. Free of any cognitive problems, the women underwent a single sleep study where researchers measured oxygen levels and sleep quality. They were then retested five years later. Over a third, or 35 percent, of the older women in our study had uh, evidence of moderate to severe sleep apnea. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Among those with sleep apnea, there was about an 85 percent, or nearly the double, doubling of risk of onset of, of cognitive problems compared to those who had more normal breathing during sleep. Ruth says her CPAP, or continuous positive airway pressure machine, has brought good, healthy sleep back into her life. And although the machine may look daunting to some, Ruth says it's really not. Whatever it takes to deal with using a CPAP is absolutely worth it to your life and to the lives of people who love you. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.